Hello everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through an AQAA level chemical calculations question. Pause the question now and have a go at it yourself. So this question is has given us an equation in which calcium sulfide reacts with calcium sulfate to produce calcium oxide and sulfur dioxide. It says over here that 2.5 grams of calcium sulfide are heated with 9.85 grams of calcium sulfate until there is no further reaction. We have to show that the calcium sulfate is the limiting reagent in this reaction and it's asking us to find the mass of sulfur dioxide formed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the equation over here. So now we want to find the molar values, so how many moles there are of calcium sulfide and calcium sulfate so we can find out which one is the limiting reagent. So we know that moles is mass over MR, therefore mole calcium sulfide is equal to 2.50 over 72.2 because it gives us its MR over here, which equals 0 0.0346 and the moles of calcium sulfate are 9.85 over 136.2 which is 0 0.0723 so to find out which one is the limiting reagent we have to use the the ratio that they've given us in the equation so we know that for each mole of calcium sulfide sulfide there's three moles of calcium sulfate reacting because it's in a one to three ratio because there's no number in front of the calcium sulfide, we can just take that as being 1. To show that calcium sulfate is the limiting reagent, we will multiply the moles of calcium sulfide by 3 times by 3 because each mole of calcium sulfide is reacting with 3 moles of calcium sulfate. Uh, and 0 0.0723 is less than 0. 1038 therefore calcium sulfate is the limiting now we have to find the mass of sulfur dioxide formed and because the calcium sulfate is limiting we're going to have to multiply calcium the moles of calcium we're going to have to multiply the moles of calcium sulfate which all reacted because they're limiting and the calcium sulfide is in excess so we can forget that we'll take this forward so we'll do 0 0.0723 and because there's a 3 to 4 ratio between calcium sulfate and sulfur dioxide we can multiply it by 4 over 3 which would equal 0 0.0964 moles of sulfur dioxide and mass is equals to moles times by MR. The MR of sulfur dioxide is 32.1 for sulfur plus two lots of oxygen, which is 16, which is 64.1. So the mass equals 64.1 times by 0 0.0964, which is 6.179, which is the same as 6.18 approximately grams. So the answer for this would be 6.18. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.